five in DC with Rep. Al Sharpton and the NAACP. So I will be happily involved in that in that process of Medicaid, as well as have a first aid table and my first aid kit set up on the outside premises to make sure that everything is pretty much facilitated and okay. Great. Okay, so today is so fun. I have a little with you guys. We try to make some videos back to back if I can, if at all that is possible to become more involved in the political process. Pretty much you could do campus calls with your local congresswoman man. Or you could do um, door to door campaigning that people know to get involved in COVID testing as well as pretty much get involved in that community. Or what you can do, you can also figure out some way at all to be a community, do community activism in your in your in your neighborhood, whether it's with a Black Lives Matter being part of a protest in your neighborhood, or whether pretty much you want to um, do some volunteering and help you deliver food to the homeless people, help you deliver food, meals on wheels to um, elderly people in your neighborhood, or some way to be involved in your neighborhood while the unemployment rate continues to decline, the business of uh, NASDAQ continues to get better, you still have other issues that you can still be politically involved and politically active in your community. There's plenty of ways to do that and plenty of ways to get that done. Okay, so great. Number one, be involved politically in your neighborhood. Number two, figure out some way to still continue to wear your mask as well as promote community activism for um, for COVID research in your neighborhood. So per se, like you want to reach out to your elderly people and you know that COVID-19 affects elderly people the most. So you want to reach out to other people asking if they need face masks, if they need hand sanitizer, and pretty much let them know to become more politically active and more politically involved in your neighborhood. There's still a lot more things to do as well as to get the issue straight. Continue to check a lot more elderly people. Continue to be involved. Uh, let them know, hey, can you help me help you clean our house? Can you help me with medication or refills, refills? Can you help me with uh, maybe deliver some groceries and kind of involved with like that? As well as how about your family members? If you have some family members that are over as well, help them become more involved in the community as well. So there are some other couple of things that you can also work with. Again, be involved with elderly people in your neighborhood, be involved with other elderly people as well as over 65 in your neighborhood. It's just, it's pretty much generalized, generalized lecture, generalized, you know, support, but still get out there and reach out there to other people and let people know your issues as well as let people know what you and your, what you are going through. And actually, use your life to use some help in their lives as well. That's how cool, that's how it works. Community teamwork is a community network. It works together as a team. And that's pretty much the only way we can overcome this on a nationwide level is as a team, as team support. Okay, that's the only way, pretty much the only way that we can overcome this situation is through team support, through team support. Great, so be involved in the community, help out your family members, and also be a team player, especially so right now with Snow Republic, you definitely want to be a team, team player. So thank you again to Milwaukee International Airport here. Great facility, clean, very pleasant. Facility that clean, the staff is nice. Sometimes it depends what time of day the time of night. There are also a lot of other issues I need to talk about right now. Obama was asking pretty much tonight during his speech. Why would things happen? What is going on? We need to become more about We need to use this energy and this juice pretty much to get the speed going, to get the juices flowing. We need to use this black happening. What is going on? What is the issue? We need to address the issue. That's what we need to address, okay? <laughs> Which is great. President Obama is making a good point. Why are things happening? What is trying to network? What is what is us? What is this bringing us the time to get to actually come together and figure out what is going on in our community, as well as become involved, as well as use this as other details, as the other tool to help become involved politically in your community. Okay, so it's pretty much being no honorable. I'm still gonna be out there as well putting this on YouTube and Twitter, pretty much letting you guys know what is going on and how to actually get out there and become involved. Okay. And then other people know this facilities are also available too. Again, it gets a little old, but still you can use the resources and time you have at present to become in the political process. And right now here's a general a general portrait. That's a general portrait by the by the Milwaukee Tourism District. Pretty soon, in about two months, it'll be red, red states and blue states. 
So in pretty much in a couple months, you will see red states and then you will see blue states. It just really depends on what you want to do with it and what, how you want to do it, how you want to work with it yourself, as well as how you and your family want others to be involved politically on the process. See how that works, you want you and your family and others to be involved politically on the process. So whatever, whatever kind of the city that you live in, if you're in the East Coast of California, if you're in New York, if you're in Chicago, Midwest, or if you're down South Carolina, or in Egypt, Texas, you can have to you and your family some way to become politically involved on this process. That's the only way for me to put this kind of work for you and, your, and those around you to become supportive and also become involved on this process. That's the only way it's going to work. You have to figure out what, how this works for yourself, how this climate, how this generalized predictive imaginative that works for you and your family, as well as how it relates to issues that are personal to you. For issues like, for me, that are personal to me, abortion issues. Also, being a medical professional, um, COVID-19 is a personal issue for me. Uh, making sure that we are maintaining patient rights, patient HIPAA laws, very important, important to me as being a medical professional and also being a business owner. Having my own nonprofit business, getting government grants for nonprofit business owners. Again, again, there are a lot of other issues that we can be involved politically on this process and pretty much do or we can do in order to get others involved and figure out how do we change the situation, how do we address the needs of our nation as well as figure out how it relates to us personally on a different level, on a different level. Okay, so there are other issues to be involved as you can see how it relates to personally what we need to continue, 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 continue to do about it. We got two, less than two to three months left until the November elections 2020. You have the choice to make for you. You have that opportunity to be involved, and you have the decision to make it for yourself, okay? Either you can go TV, you can actually be them person, or you can actually make a decision, be a decision holder, be a business owner, be a mandated, a mandated business owner for you and yourself only. That's pretty much how it's going to work. Only you can make a choice for, you, for your life. Only you can make a decision. Nobody else can make a decision for you. Like I said before, only you can control your body. Only you can control your mind. The decision in life is who you want to vote for. Is it your personal decision or is it your family decision? Who do you want to vote for? Who do you support? That's pretty much how you get involved on this political process. Okay? It is a very specialized, a very, very individual, a very special personal personal presidential race to a lot of people is very, very, very personal because it relates to more religion, it relates to Christian values, it relates to business, it relates to money, financial problems, as well as health. So this 2020 presidential season is going to be very personal to a lot of people, families, single families, single people, single men and women, as well as a lot of other people who are dealing with other issues that are way out of their control on a personal level on a local level and on an overall, overall generalized level in general, okay? So we've got a lot of other issues to work with as well. Again, here, the general green screen map. There's a lot of other stuff that we can work on today. Pretty much get involved in this process. How do we link to it? Okay, we got delegates meeting. Go ahead and continue to support. Right now, the Democrats need about 2,250 delegates. And I researched, I don't think the Republicans have delegates, but I have to check on that, okay? I think they do. The Democrats and both Republicans have both delegates involved in this process. As well as, we need to make sure that we have that voters percentage kind of form, okay? Who has the most popular vote? Is it the Democrats or is it the Republicans? So we gotta make sure that we have both, 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 both uh, popular votes in check. We have both the, the, the blue side for the Democrats and we have the red side popular vote for the Republicans. So there's also a lot of other issues that we need to focus on as well as pretty much get involved and get active on this political social climate. There's also a lot of other things that we need to do. There's a lot of other things that we need to work on. But of course, it's one day at a time. But Super Tuesday is just one, one, one day out of four years. Every four years, Super Tuesday is just one day, 24 hours. 24 hours, you gotta get all these popular votes as well. You gotta get all these votes from the American people that were kind of the first party voted to make sure that these people from the top of the first general, are they okay? And they got everything, all the votes have the entire court. Now we have the, the issue with our current commander, Chief President Trump, who has an issue with USPS and voter fraud. 
as well as he does not trust the USPS because they are supporting the initiative for mail and vote. Okay. So the USPS is supporting the initiative for mail and voting. He is not supporting it, but the US is. So that is another issue that needs that it needs to be completely off the track of the US, especially if he wants his voters, he needs to get he needs to support as well as pro provide financial resources to United States Postal Service. You can't have both of them. You have to have both. It works together like that, especially since he needs more than just money to win. He needs that vote. He needs to be everything needs to be 99.6, we're talking about 95, 95, 92% calculated total populate, populated vote in order to win the United States presidents. So both the red and the blue states need about 92% calculated votes in order to win the presidents. It's usually about 91, 92% every four years, but they need that above 91, 92% in order to be declared United States president. Okay, either the red side or the blue side. They need that 92% of the popular vote as well as the overall delegate count to win the United States presidents. Okay, so there's a lot of other issues that we need to work on as well. Okay, we need to make sure we got that delegate count, we need to make sure we got that popular vote, and we ought to make sure that every single state we have the whole entire county kind of for. There's going to be some districts in the states that are not uh, calculated for, as well as some other issues. But again, it might take overnight, it might take a couple hours, but still, every single state needs to be counted for. Pay attention to those major, major, super, super states. California, major one has about two, three hundred delegates, as well as Illinois, New York, Texas, and another one big one. We've got um, Iowa. Iowa is another big state that has really big delegates every single, every single year. As well as Florida. Florida is probably some of the states that have uh, delegates count for every single year as well. So we got to make sure that we have all of these counts of voters accounted for and calculated for against. Okay. Make sure you know be involved in your community. Don't let the mail vote, the voter fraud deter you from going out there, putting in a voter's registration application in, making sure you and your community are supported, making sure the initiative for color research are supported, as well as pretty much being involved totally as a whole single family unit in your overall complete community unit for you and your family to be involved politically or socially for this presidential race, okay? For this presidential race. Now there's a lot of um, other issues. Popular vote, the total all the states, all the districts are counted for. Let's make sure there's no mail and voter fraud as well as any fraud with the voters' machines or outside official, which is general, general, general. Okay, okay. So I'm very happy to be here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's getting better. Every single minute counts. Literally, every single second counts. Every single agenda, every single moment, every single person that you connect with and you meet with on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, money is good. Yes, we need money to survive. Yes, I'm dumb. Yes, of course we need money. But we also need to make sure that your votes and your communication, your networks, every single contact you make with somebody is counted for. Okay. Make sure that every single contact, you get a person's name, you get their email, you get their phone number, make sure you check on them. Okay? Especially right now with COVID going on. Continue, 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 continue to continue to make sure that your votes as well as every single communication tool you make with somebody is counted for. Okay? Those communications will be used as voting friends, and those voting friends will be used to take you to the polls. The Super Tuesday, all right? Okay, the generalized map of the United States presidential race. Generalized, we still have a lot more to go, a lot of other issues to talk about as well. Okay? Me being a health profession, I'm a, I'm a small business owner and I'm a college student, and I'm unemployed, and I'm a medical professional. Guess what? What's the, the, the top number one thing I need? The top number one thing I need, I need to be involved. What's the top number one thing besides being a medical professional, besides being um, being in the medical field, besides being involved um, in my community, besides business, being a business owner? What is the number one thing I need above anything else? What's the number one thing I need before anything else? Money. Grants. Okay, of course you need a place to live. Of course you need food to eat, but you need that money. You need some kind of financial support system in order to get you and your family in order to survive and live through this uh, turmoil of this COVID unemployment government shutdown environment that the United States government has been going on for the past 
almost a whole year now, six months, okay? Okay, so the main thing is financial resources. Financial resources, financial resources. Applying for grants, as well as applying for loans, as well as making sure that you and your business is accounted for, okay? Making sure that you don't have any outstanding debt that is due to somebody. Make sure that you don't have any outstanding payday loans, any loan sharks out of you and your family that might help take away or pay your rent. And again, the United States government administrator, the current administration staff will say that President Trump is trying to provide some kind of mortgage assistance to the United States renters as well. So that is also another issue to be involved in as well, providing renters insurance. Providing renters insurance for those to be involved politically in this process. So uh, the current administration, Trump administration has renters insurance programs as well as small business owners programs, as well as other programs out there to help people be involved politically on a social scale, as well as help support them and their families on a national level. So he has small business loans, he has, he has um, uh, family loans, he also has pretty much rental assistance programs to help people and their small families, large families, help support them through this COVID-19 government crisis help them and their families be supported during this national, national epidemic. That is still right now, Governor Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo in New York, as well as J.B. Christian in Illinois, as well as Gavin Newsom in uh, California, Greg Abbott in Texas, everybody else in Florida, pretty much all general around, around the world have a lot of other issues to address. The main thing, the main focus right now is recovering from the COVID-19 epidemic. That is the main thing, the main thing, the main thing, is recovery from the COVID-19 epidemic. That is the main thing for me to focus on, okay? So it is. The main thing is the main focus is pretty much recovery from this COVID-19 epidemic, okay? Okay, so be getting rent loans, getting business loans, getting rental loans, a lot of other issues that we need to address as well. So covering the COVID-19 epidemic, that's great. Number two is reopening back up the schools on a normal schedule, okay? A lot of schools have a choice. Either they want to open to in-person education or they want to do virtual education, which is good, but nothing stands better than in-person education, okay? So it's also causing a lot more schools and educational like Harvard, like Penn State, like Yale, like Princeton to lose a lot of their government funding because they are no longer allowed to have in-person classes, which is also decreasing that student-to-teacher ratio, which is a great thing. Other, otherwise, decreasing their federal uh, academic, federal financial loans through FAFSA from the, from the federal government. So, COVID is not only hurting business owners, COVID-19 is not only hurting small families, but COVID-19 is also hurting large, large academic institutions. Everybody pretty much knows on a general scale. Okay? Everybody pretty much knows on a general scale. So that is pretty much the issue that needs to be addressed. How to help academic institutions get back in motion, get back to a regular school in Rome. Okay, regular school enrollment, which is pretty much what we need to focus on and what we need to do. Okay, so there's also another issue that needs to be addressed because there's a lot more younger students in elementary school doing online learning. They are doing online learning, which is great, but you still cannot let online learning turn over or overpower in-person academic education, in-person learning. Cannot let online learning overpower in person education, in person training, okay? So, online learning is great, is a great tool, but it's a supplement, okay? Computers are meant to be an educational supplement tool. They are not meant to replace basic textbooks and basic learning measures, okay? Computers are meant to be a, a supplement tool, okay? They're not they are necessary, but they are not a substitute for basic reading, writing, and arithmetic. Those are the basic grounds and foundation for for education, pretty much. 
creates the foundation which a lot of young kids as well as students of color are lacking today. Pretty much are lacking today. Reading, writing, and arithmetic, okay? So that is also another issue that we need to focus on on an additional level, okay? All right, so education. A number, another tool that we need to focus on is increasing health, okay? Health initiatives, increasing STEM research, as well as research for a lot for the health industry, promoting more education opportunities for the health industry. We need to hire, of course, we need to hire more nurses, we need to hire more doctors, especially as a huge, huge, there has been a huge United States doctor shortage over the past 20, 30 years. The U.S. has been on an extreme shortage of doctors. So that is also another issue that needs to be addressed as well, okay? We need to encourage international doctors to come from overseas and also help with their initiatives as well, okay? Even though sometimes we have a different uh, little problem with our international relationships with other countries, we still need to keep supporting the initiatives of hiring international scientists as well as doctors and technologists to help with the COVID epidemic as well as increasing vaccine research, vaccine research and helping our general aging population of the United States. Okay. To help our aging population in the United States on a general, general, general level. Okay, so to help our aging population. All right, let me see what else. Other than that, yes, yeah, it's pretty good um, being here in the airport. A lot of being involved actively as well as socially. And uh, we just gotta meet people on a one-to-one basis. You guys know people as well as pretty much being involved and doing as much as much as you can. Yes, I'm dumb. Yes, I'm really stupid. But every single thing works for every single reason for every single day. You still have to become involved in your life as well as continue to support the initiatives that are best needed for times to make sure like this. Okay? For times and situations like these that are needed the most, you have to continually let other people know that your services are ready and available as well as provide the necessary resources to help you and your personal family and your personal life overcome government shutdowns, or overcome political crises and situations like this, okay? Great. Another issue that we need to address, especially in the black as well as minority community, we need to talk about Black Lives Matter. That is a really great and a great issue that we need to talk about. Black Lives Matter, of course, of course. We have a high percentage of young black men between 18 and 30 dying in the hands of police brutality, which is a general, general statement. A lot young, a lot more of black men, as well as young black women, are dying in the hands of police brutality. So we need to address it not just not the issue of really defunding police per se, but about letting other people become doing community activism. Yes, protest works, but protest works on a different level per se. You can either protest for one person dying or you can protest for a legislation law to be passed. You can protest over somebody being killed, a couple people being killed, or you can actually have all that protest and have all that energy lead to activism, have all that energy lead to curating laws, not just defunding the police per se, but addressing the need and addressing the issue that we need to change the police system in our neighborhood. Our neighborhood has a high crime rate, so that means that we need to work and focus on stopping drugs in our neighborhood, lowering prostitution rates, increasing educational goals, and, and building more community, community clinics in our neighborhood. Those are just some other issues that we need to work on and that we need to address here in our neighborhood. Okay. Black Lives Matter did a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job this year with community activism. But the looting and the and the loitering and the breaking into buildings and, and bombs, a little bit of that was out of control. Still, still, Black Lives Matter did an amazing job getting a whole bunch of young people actively politically involved here especially on a United States presidential year. Especially on a United States presidential year. 
Black Lives Matter did a wonderful, a wonderful, a wonderful job. A wonderful job. So they need to increase that activism. Stop the loitering a little bit and lead that more towards a global initiative. We want to globally stop police brutality. We want to globally promote police activity. Uh, we want to globally promote laws to also provide safety and protection for our black communities. Okay. So the level could be a little bit high on both scales. It could be actually normal and equalized on the same scale. Okay. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. The map looks pretty good. The generalized map here. Um, I'm here in Milwaukee. I'm getting better. It's about 10 30 here at night. I've got a lot to do. I've got a lot to use it and to focus on as well to figure out why am I here? Why am I at this place? Why am I in this particular season of my life at this particular season at this time? Okay. I still have a lot to do. I still have to figure out how is my life going to change? What steps I'm going to take? How I'm going to be more, more politically involved? Who am I going to connect with? How am I going to change my life? What differences am I going to make in my community as well as for myself? How am I going to continue my educational initiatives? You see what I'm saying? How am I going to increase my education? I need to read more. I need to do more research. I need to do more charts and graphs. I need to do more tools in order to help build up the career and educational goals and foundation in order to increase the academic and make that an actually foundation tool to help out me and my community. That is what is going to work and that is what's happening actually is going to push you forward in your life, okay? It does take a little bit of step every single time. Again, nothing happens overnight. Nothing does happen overnight. But you've got to figure out a way how to change it and make it work. So nothing just happens overnight. You've got to figure out a way how to make both this and what you've been struggling with work for you and you. Yeah, that's the only way it's going to change, literally. You have to make it on a personal. I want to change my life as well as for personally have to change life and then on a global, global scale, okay, your life will be able to change. That is it. That is it. So personally, every single day is a new day. Every single day is a new goal on a social level for me. On a personal level. It still is a fight. It is a fight to be a young person. It's a fight to be single. It's a fight to be involved in my community. It's a fight to actually get employed, to work, to have energy, to continue to support myself. But, okay, but here on Wednesday night, here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I am still trying my very best to take every single moment that I have, every single journey that I go through, and use to actually help build me forward and keep the journey and initiative moving for everything that I have to be involved in my life. For every single thing I have to be involved in my life, politically as well as on a religious and also on a social scale. Okay. There's a lot of things that need to change in my life, but nothing will change unless I allow it. Seriously. Nothing will change in my life as well as yours unless you allow it. Okay. You've got to figure out a way to become involved and like that cheap that price may be cheapened. They may cheapen the price to you, they may be cheapen the price of you and your family's life. But you've got to figure out, uh, figure out a way to, to bring value at that price. To be value into your community, to be bring value to the black community, to promote activism, to promote, to promote legislation, to promote community activism. Got to figure out a way how to become politically involved on this planet, on the social scale. There are still a lot of other issues that we need to address on a different level, but it changes every single day. Okay, we got to figure out how does that purpose and how does that reason make for me, and what can I do about it? How is it going to work for me? What do I need to do? What do I need to change? How do I become more and more and more and more? involved in my my family's life as well as changing my life for the better and sometimes it's the only way you can change it is literally literally on a day by day by day by day decision okay literally literally that's the only way we
decision that changes you by a single decision, and you keep building on that single decision, a single after decision after decision after decision, you keep building on it, building on it, building on it, building on it, until it eventually becomes a journey, the journey, and then the journey gets stronger, and it gets stronger, and it gets stronger, and to do, you actually learn and develop better techniques and develop better tools for you and your life to change. That's pretty much the only way it's going to work, how your life is going to change. Literally. It's a journey. It's a small journey. Counseling work, yes. Family support, community support, yes. But the journey really begins with your own personal, personal decision that you want your life to change on a personal, on a personal level. Okay? Again, you have to make the decision and make choice for yourself. Nobody can change it for you. Okay. There you go. All right. So um, another another issue that I want to address right quickly is pretty much with um, family abuse as well as family relationship problems. Okay. I'm learning how to be alone. I'm learning how to become more independent. I'm learning how to struggle and be on my own as an individual. As an independent young woman, every single day I'm, I'm on this journey, I'm on this journey of life, I'm on this journey of change, I'm on this journey of struggle, and relating to different people on this social level changes every single day. However, even though some days are better, some days are some days are bad, some days are worse, I still am finding out what I can tolerate or what I don't tolerate. I hear you. You still have a right every single every single decision you make in your life affects you and your family's life and nobody else affects your life. Okay? So every single choice, whether it's a choice to leave out of a situation or whether it's a choice to stay in a situation, that is your decision and your decision only. Seriously, it is your decision and your decision only. It's not anybody else's but yours. Your identity belongs to nobody else's but yours. Your choice and your life belongs to nobody else's abuse. Okay. Family abuse happens, but that was a that was just a one cycle in my life. That was the whole entire pie, the whole entire cycle in my life. Okay. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take change in my life to bring it to focus, to bring it to movement. Now family abuse, sexual abuse, sexual violence may have happened in my past, but that was only it just a small ten percent to fifty percent. So the abusive family sexual abuse family history was only a small 10% to 50% cycle in my life. You still have the choice and the identity to protect it and to honor it, and nobody can change it but you. Nobody can change your life but you. You have got to become involved politically and socially and actively involved in your community as well as letting other people know what is going on and addressing other issues as yourself. Okay? Pretty much I'm doing this independently, I'm becoming more involved in my community, I let other people know what's going on as to relating to the issue that yes, work does need to be done, yes, we need to address other issues, yes, we need to work harder. Yes, we need support, absolutely. But the, the, the choice will not change unless you allow it to, unless you make the personal decision in your life to change it for the better. Okay, it's general, it's true, it's not to change it for anybody else but yourself. You therefore gotta figure out a way in order to get that into motion to be able to do what you have to do on a different level, okay? So again, I've got a lot to learn. The walk is just a stepping stone. I've also got to record every single thing I do, okay? It's just a stepping stone. I think I saw the mayor of Boston, I swear to God, okay? Every single, having the, having this freedom, having this independence to move in this motion, to move in one direction, or to move into that other direction. That is also another issue that I've got to work on, okay? I can either move in this direction, or I can either move in this other direction. But the choice and the freedom and independence is mine and mine alone and nobody else's, okay? Literally, it's mine and mine alone and nobody else's. So 
you have got to continue to work on that pattern progress. Okay. You have got to continue, continue, continue to work on that pattern of progress. And nobody is going to change it for you. Nobody is going to change it for you. So you've got to make the choice to continue being involved actively as well as getting up into other people in your neighborhood, your community, and letting your life and your and your values help equip the lives and values of other people as well. It's going to take on a day by day by day by day, literally hour by hour decisions like it's taking for you, literally hour by hour. But I am working on it. I am changing. I am becoming a better woman than I have been a happy Okay, I still got a lot to do. It's still 10.30 here in Milwaukee, okay? Got a couple more hours so I'll leave in the park. But I want to thank you guys for the opportunity for allowing me to be able to hear, to expose myself to some heartaches, as well as figure out what needs to change, as figure out what will change here in the School of Employment. And usually, especially when you become involved in community activism, and especially when you become involved in politics, and especially when you become involved in protests, you figure out, you find a way that, yes, you know what? That protest really does affect me. Yes, yes, community activism really affects me. It affects me. You know, yes, that presidential debate really affects me. I should have I should have listened to that. You know, yeah, that that local district, uh, yeah, I should have voted this year because it affects me too. It affects me as well as it affects other people. I should have voted to. I should have been involved too. So yes, I mean, a lot of other issues as affect other people as well. So we've got to figure out a way how to use all this power, how to use all this energy, and use it for your life as well as other people. Okay? It's going to take literally a day by day in life, especially when you're dealing with the history of depression, a history of sexual abuse, a history of molestation, a history of domestic violence, as well as other issues. You've got to figure out how that affects you and your family and other members on a whole wide world global scale as well how it affects you every single day personally every single moment personally in life okay it's not going to change over life domestic violence it doesn't it is the changes to begin with life. it's one step one moment at a time sexual abuse it does the change just have overnight sexual abuse is one literally one step at a time in somebody's life in somebody's personal life Literally, it's literally one step, one movement in somebody's life, one moment at a time. Usually, one moment at a time in somebody's life. So it's going to take a lot more to become involved, politically and actively involved in this kind of life. The change that begins with you in every single decision that you make. So thank you guys here to all my subscribers, my friends, friends on Facebook, as well as friends in general and the general public, my friends here on Facebook, a lot of guy friends, a lot of military friends, a lot of police officers, a lot of firefighters on my Facebook. Thank you guys. A lot of church members from Calvary in Tampa and in Fort Worth. Thank you guys for being involved here politically and socially on this level. I really do appreciate you guys. Please continue to support me. Continue to be involved with me and help me to know others that I want to be involved in issues like this on a personal, personal, personal level and a personal situation. Okay, every single day is affecting me. Politics affects me on a global level, but it also affects me on a personal level. On a personal level. Okay, so this is a quick
Queen Bottle, Bottle First Every Spider Services Live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here, this is a beautiful poster board by the Milwaukee, Wisconsin Tourism District. It says E O N E S, the dome. It's a beautiful flyer that you have to So, thank you to the Milwaukee Tourism District. It's Katie, the official uh, park dome. Beautiful. International Airport here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as well as the Democratic National Convention for the past week, Monday through Thursday. Thank you guys as well, as well as the Democratic Party here in Milwaukee, the National Democratic Headquarters in Washington, D.C., as well as Tom Perez, President of the Democratic Coach Chair and President of the Democratic National Committee here in the United States. Thank you again to you guys, and please, please become actively involved, and to you and your families, wish you guys a loved one and a safe time. This is a clean bottle about a first baby spider service. I love you guys. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers as I may make my way safely back to Boston, Massachusetts tomorrow. Okay, guys. So I love you live here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the Democratic National Convention. I love you guys. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers, and I will do the same for you. Okay, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin here at the Milwaukee International Airport. Beautiful, beautiful, clean facility and airport. This is the Queen Battle Battle First Air Responder Services. I love you guys. I repeat me in your thoughts and prayers. Happy presidential election season. Be sure to get out there and remember to register to vote as well as continue to take COVID-19 testing. Continue to be involved politically in your neighborhood. Get out there, rock the vote as well as let you and your family members know that God is with you as well. Every single situation you go through, whether it is domestic violence, sexual abuse, child trauma, abortion, whatever kind of uh, abusive situation I think you're going through, remember that God is with you. Everybody will be with you. Just, it's just you gotta take things one day at a time and literally, literally, literally one step at a time. That's how it works. It works one day at a time, and it also works one step at a time. Okay, serenity prayer. All right, so this is Queen Bible. Thank you guys. Here I'm live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's a lot of things to do. Thank you guys. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers.